Good morning, everybody. Today we are down here at Lake Tanny Como, and I got the wife with me today. So she wanted to get out of the house and get some fresh air. So we're gonna check out the lake. It looks to be pretty full, so probably won't be able to walk very much, but she did say she wanted to stop off at another pull-off of Table Rock Lake Dam, or Table Rock Lake. So we might check that out too in this video. But for now, we're walking down to Lake Tanny Como. If you would, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, become a member. And with that, let's go check out the lake. I saw a couple on the drive into this dead end area. I saw a couple boats cruising, so we'll see if we see any boats too, so. I forgot to say it's date day. And it's date day. And we're staying home yep. after this. This is the only thing we're doing because she's still getting over being sick, so still not doing that great but needed to get some fresh air so a little walk by the lake and as you can see it's still flowing down nicely fuller than I was just here a couple days ago or the day before yesterday but always like coming down here it's peaceful Never know if the lake's gonna be full or not full. Uh, I don't know. It's a cold day today, though. Pretty nice week, but I think it's barely supposed to hit 60 today, maybe? Or high 50s? What is it? Something scared her, she said. Uh, yeah, lake is still full from the other day. And it's still flowing pretty good, so I'm gonna assume they're still releasing water from the bottom of Table Rock Lake because the gates. I don't know. Have you seen it this fall before? I don't know if she's seen it this fall, but there's Table Rock Lake Dam right there, and I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I can see one, two, three boats from here. Oh, four boats. Four boats up there. It is a Saturday as of the recording of this, so maybe more people are out today, even though it's, it's a little 30, colder. It's 35 degrees, so how I wouldn't be boating. <laughs> 35 degrees? Yeah, it is cold right now. We're here in the early, well, I guess not early, early morning. It's 9.30 right now. So, really can't walk that far that way. Oh, we can walk this way a little bit. People down there with oars. Oh, down here. Oh yeah, a boat with oars coming this way. Watch your step right there. This one, the lake's low. It's about a, I don't know, six, eight foot drop off right here that you can, when the lake's not so full, you can walk down the side of it. And I've seen it where all this was underwater too. Oh yeah, there's a couple more boats right down that direction. Oh, some birds flying. Yeah, they got oars out. They, they might still have a trolling motor, or it couldn't have. Maybe it has no motor. Some people don't have motors. But yeah, it's a chilly morning though. Oh, the, some of the boats are almost to us. I'm gonna stop off at the next. Well, last night the wind was so bad, so it probably kicked in all the cold air. Yeah, the wind was, it was really windy last night, but I'm gonna stop off at the next pull off spot and hike down the mountain a little bit and see how much walking we can do at that spot, but. Yeah, this is definitely polar than when you came the other day. And it's about the same as the other day. So. It was like this the other day. But it's not any emptier, if that makes sense, so I think they're probably still releasing water. Just doing a nice little piece of video here of the Lake Tanny Como. And we'll go off to the next spot and see how much walking we can do down at that spot and get a little closer to Table Rock Lake Dam. And then maybe we'll catch these boats, but by the time we get to that spot, these boats will probably be down here. And then just on the other side of Table Rock Lake Dam, 
uh, there's a little pull-off area, which I've stopped at before, that you can see Table Rock Lake. So I think we'll stop there and probably have some video of Table Rock Lake to go with this Lake Tanny Como. So with that, let's head to the next spot and see how much walking we can do over there, how close we can get to Table Rock Lake Dam down at that spot. I've made it down to the next spot. Get a little closer to Table Rock Lake Dam, which is that direction, but I don't know if you can see there's some boats over this direction, but the wife stayed in the car. Didn't want to walk down the mountain, which she's still not feeling great, but needed some fresh air. So with that, if you would hit that thumbs up button, it really helps us. <clears throat> if you're new to the channel, subscribe, become a member, and right here, let's flip you guys around. <clears throat> Excuse me, clear my throat. A little closer to Table Rock Lake Dam. There's a boat floating right there. Uh, there's a few boats right out that direction. One, two, and I can see four. I don't know what the camera's picking up, but one, two, three, four boats. Cruising. I wouldn't say cruising. They're going with the flow. I'm going to walk down this way a little bit. I got a little bit of shoreline here. I can walk see if we can get this boat but it'll probably be on the other side of that island there it is pretty cool when they stop releasing water from Table Rock Lake Dam and this area usually dries up quite a bit and is uh, you can walk all the way out and around that island so that's pretty cool oh man there's a I'm glad I decided to walk there's a couple boats out here close to the dam over there I do like when I'm able to walk out around the island because usually like right in this area is all no water and then there'll be a little water up here and usually you can spot some trout swimming when I'm walking up there and I can usually get all the way around that point of the island we just missed the boat one on the other side of the island but there's a boat way up there by the dam that's pretty cool so I just like doing these lake videos this is Lake Tani Como I remember when I first moved here I mean you always think it's this lake's always flowing reminds me of a river but it's a lake Yeah, a lot of boats out here today. It is a Saturday, but it's supposed to be cold, colder today than it's been all week. So with that, I do think we're gonna head to the next spot. We'll actually go across. We'll drive back over the dam there, and over that direction, there's a pull-off on the other side, which will get you guys a view of Table Rock Lake which I probably haven't stopped off there in a while, so it's a chilly day, so I doubt we'll see any boats speeding out there, but you never know. We might. You never know what you'll see, but get you guys actually a view of Table Rock Lake today, along with Lake Tanny Como here. Man, the weather right now, I mean, it's nice one day, the next day it's cold. It's freezing right now. It's probably only in the 30s right now. But it is cool. There's some geese. My camera probably can't zoom in enough, darn it. That is one thing once I start getting some money from the channel, I'll be able to upgrade some equipment. And any money we get from memberships or super thanks on videos. We'll go right back into the channel for more adventures or updated, upgraded equipment. Oh, there goes that boat. It's cruising now. It's in the current pretty good. It's flowing down. That's going pretty fast right now, right there. But, yeah, lots of boats. Some geese right over there off the point. Pretty cool. I did see one trout jump earlier. Pretty cool. 
pretty peaceful. You can hear the birds chirping. And the boats, boats they don't have their motors running. They just go up by the dam and then put their trolling motors down and just go with the current. Flow back down. It's windy though, so sorry if we're picking up some wind noise. I'm gonna walk over this direction a little bit. Light up. This is the trail I had to hike down. Our car's right up there. See if I can come over here and actually get a little bit of these geese. But I'm all the way zoomed in, so they're right off of that. Right off of that point right there. Oh, maybe I'll leave it running. There's a boat creating a wake down there coming up here. See if he comes all the way up here or not. I love when you actually get to see the boats coming up here. They're cruising pretty good. Yeah, you got the geese right there with the boats. And then you got that boat just floating down. Die-hard fishermen out here, even though it's freezing cold. I guess I'm a die-hard cameraman. Gotta get those videos, but yeah, that boat's cruising along. It's gonna go up, probably pretty close to the dam, and then shut the motor off and coast back down. Nope, there's another boat. That little boat was just way up by the dam, so. It's floating in the floating around down pretty good. And this Lake Tani Como is 99% trout, if not 100%, but table rocks. That's where you get the bass and the other fish. Crappie. Which we're going to go head over to that pull off right now and show you guys some of Table Rock Lake. So with that, let's head over to the other side and Table Rock Lake. We made a slight detour. Well, not really a detour. Before we went to the pull off of Table Rock Lake, which we'll still get to show you here. But we stopped off at the Dewey Short Visitor Center. We're going to see if it's open yet. I think it's supposed to open the beginning of March for the season, but... We will see if it's open. If you would, remember to hit that thumbs up button. Helps us out a lot. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Become a member. And this is the Dewey Short Visitor Center. And if you're wondering, there's the hours. Looks like it's closed on Sundays and Mondays. But we'll see if it's open. I know it closes during the off season and I think it's supposed to open in the beginning of March, I think. But there's a look from afar at Table Rock Lake which if the visitor center is open, we'll be able to get you a good view from outside of it. Bird apartments, right there. Bird apartments, right up there. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, so but. they're warming their acrobatic flight skills as they hunt for insects. So, so, so we're gonna head right up here to this building right there. It's the Dewey Short Visitor Center and see if it's open. Entering the Dewey Short Visitor Center and normally when it's closed it has something out here and the sign on the door says open So cool. We'll get to explore the Dewey Short Visitor Center. Are you excited? Sure. <laughs> Here's a little look. Welcome to Table Rock Lake A map of Table Rock Lake Let's see. Where are we? Does it say you are here? Table Rock State Park, Shepherd of the Hills Fish Hatchery, right over here. That must be where we are. See, we're on the Arkansas line. We're really close to Arkansas. Yeah. So a little map there. They said they added a couple exhibits. Lots of taxidermy animals. Oh, check those out. From last year to this year. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. It seems dark right there. 
But we're just gonna explore. We'll be able to go upstairs and get a nice view of the lake and check out some taxidermied animals, they said, and some exhibits downstairs there. And we'll go out here and check out Table Rock Lake. We just came outside of the Dewey Short Visitor Center, and this is one of the views of Table Rock Lake Dam right there. And there's Table Rock Lake. So I told you I'd get you guys a view of Table Rock Lake. We just made a pit stop first. The other area we were talking about, which we'll see if we stop off, because it is right over there, a little pull off that you can go down next to the lake. But this is a pretty good right, view right here in the dam. And we were just on the other side, is Lake Tanicoma, where we were just at. So we get it from both sides today. Awesome view here from outside. But we're gonna go, if you go up the stairs, you get an even better view from up there. So we'll do that too. But it's cold out here, so. But there's Table Rock Lake D Dam and the lake. There's a boat over there. Some taxidermied birds here. They said they got a lot more taxidermied animals in here from last year because one of the visitor centers closed down, so they brought a bunch of this stuff here, which is cool. I always love me some taxidermied animals. But she called this the bird room. Lots of birds. Oh, some owls up there in the trees. Check those guys out. And we got some owls up there. Oh, there's geese. Pretty cool little room here. And they got some information plaques. Is this about the about the dam, maybe? Oh, pretty cool. Oh, well, that might be the dam being built right there. Oh yeah, these are all of the dam being built. Oh, there's a picture with some the dam, some water coming out of the dam. And there's the final of the map of the United States. Pretty cool room here. Oh, we got in the elevator. It's a partial glass elevator. Oh, there you are. It got dark. If you're looking for free things to do in Branson, this, this is, is free. free. Yes. Yep. The Dewey Short Visitor Center is free to do. So come and check it out if you're in the area. Pretty good information and stuff. I don't remember this. Now we'll get the good view outside. This is all this is. Ride the elevator up to the view. Maximum people, 20. Now we got a view. There's the dam. Table Rock Lake. That ledge is pretty cool right there. Good picture spot, she said. We're high enough up here. Look, if you look just on the other side of the dam, there's Lake Tanny Como. And I can even see the boats that we just saw when we were down there. So Lake Tanny Como right on the other side. Table Rock Lake. You never been up at this spot? No. She doesn't remember ever being up at this spot. But it's a heck of a view. Oh yeah, it was here last time I was here. Awesome view though. I'm gonna, it's just cool how you can see Table Rock Lake and Lake Tanny Como all in one shot there. I mean, that is awesome. The dam blocks it. Two different lakes, yep. Yeah. Table Rock Lake and Lake Tanicoma. Divided by a dam. I don't know. Don't make me look down on video. To control water flow. Oh, there's some geese down there. 
I'm gonna say they're too big for ducks, but I'm gonna say geese. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. I say that a lot. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. It doesn't zoom very good. The camera. But Table Rock Lake. Yeah, I don't know if we'll make it over to that other stop off because it's pretty cold and we got a heck of a view right here. Just rode the elevator. Now we are on the bottom story of the visitor center. And as you can see, we're looking out at the dam there, but they got some crank slow. Oh, it's operating the blender. Oh, you can change it here. Let's go with the hair dryer over here. You can see it blowing. What'd you see over here? Do you know your watershed terms? Table Rock Lake Watershed, White River Watershed. What is a watershed? A watershed or drainage basin is an area of land where all the rainwater and snow melt drain into the same stream, river, or lake. Actually, there's right a out, watershed. I read outside that empty basin out there in the parking lot. They say you should keep, it says there, wash your cars because any dirt that's on your car, if you don't keep your car washed, comes off your car and when it rains and it goes in those drains so it pollutes the water. So you're actually supposed to keep your car washed. Oh. So we should probably wash our car. <laughs> yeah, you should. The kids always love this area. They still got the boat. Only children inside the boat. Do you remember coming here now? She said she, she, said she didn't remember coming here, but we came here. Maybe not last year, maybe two years ago with the kids. Clay and Skyler love to climb in this boat. Or maybe I came with Nana and Poppy. It wasn't you? I'm pretty sure it was you. It wasn't me. I have a pump. Life jackets save lives. Wear your life jacket. Shepherding the White River Trout. Shepherd of the Hills Fish Hatchery. It's where they raise trout and release it into Lake Tanny Como. Oh look, there's a picture of the truck dumping trout in there. That would be cool to see than actually do. But here we got some taxidermy fish over here. Is that what you call fish? A little paddlefish. Bluegill. Let me zoom in a little bit. Bluegill. We got the paddlefish there. Oh, long nose gar. Whoa, check that guy out. We got a white bass up there. A walleye, or is it wally? Walleye. A catfish, I can pronounce that one. A black crappie, spotted bass, smallmouth bass, largemouth bass. So this is showing some of the bass, like, or not just bass, some of the fish you can find out in Table Rock Lake. Oh yeah, here's a sign. Bass fishing on Table Rock Lake, or at Table Rock Lake. And then this sign over here says fishing Table Rock Lake. So all different fish you can find inside Table Rock Lake. Pretty cool. It says here on the sign, trout are not native to Missouri. The state started trying to introduce the species in late 1800s. Many species did not survive, but two did. The rainbow trout from California and the brown trout from Europe. Those are the ones that survived. Here's a rainbow trout right here. And then a brown trout. Those are the two, the two different types in Lake Tanny Como. They breed 100.2 million, 1.2 million, and they release 80 percent. Pretty cool. I had to come over to this area. We got some more taxidermy animals. How about a mink? A great blue heron. Those are probably what I see down at Lake Tanny Como, not cranes. I call them cranes. Cattle egret. You got the bald eagle. 
That's pretty cool right there. Bald eagle. Raccoons. That's a raccoon right there. I'm guessing that's a type of fox, but it doesn't have a sign for it. Oh, we got those, that guy up there. A yellow shafted flicker. We'll check that guy out. Oh, there's a squirrel back there. It's squirrel time. A wild turkey. Oh, northern cardinal. We might see those all the time around where we live. Bobcat. Oh, the skunk. Copperhead snake. Pretty cool area with some taxidermied animals. This guy was over on the other side. I can't forget the greater roadrunner. We got some cactus here. Prickly pear cactus. Do you ever see cactus around here? I never see cactus around here. Let's see what it says. say about the cactus? I never see cactus around here. Interesting. Prickly pear cactus right there. Glades and the Ozarks. They got information about all this stuff, which would take forever to read it all. Oh, look at that bird. I'd like to see that bird. There's three different types of bats. Did you know that Ozarks has a big eared bat? But I would like to see that bird. That's like you, James Elliott Me. I would have to say, you had a good idea of stopping off on here. I forgot it's open. opened up at the beginning of March, so the wife's the one that mentioned it to me. Good idea, stopping in here. Is it a turtle? He's eating a turtle? Oh man. Good idea though, babe. Stopping off in here. I love seeing some taxidermied animals. A mink. Oh, this guy right here, yeah, the mink. The wife thought this was very interesting. This northern snakehead fish can live out of water for up to three days and can move short distances on land. With its fins. With its fins. Wow, that guy can live out of water for three days. That is pretty crazy. But this is a pretty cool area. I definitely recommend if you're in the Branson area, stop by the visitor center, Dewey Shore Visitor Center. Got some good information in here. A little bit of taxidermied animals, so that's pretty cool. And whether you go on the very the third floor, the second floor, or the first floor, you got a great view of Table Rock Lake and the dam. So definitely recommend stopping by the visitor center if you're in the area, and it's free to do. Here's a boat with an old school TV. Talking about and the farmland flood. throughout the river basin are being severely damaged or destroyed by rising water. Huge flood happened here. Throughout the ago. area, Did you read the residents are fleeing with only what they can carry or load onto a boat. Table Rock Dam, decades in the making. Into camps where relief workers provide food Taney and County Republican. Folks further downstream along the Mississippi are dealing with even... I didn't even realize this. I won't be able to get it all in one shot, but they got the Table Rock Lake. <laughs> There's the Table Rock Lake Dam. They got it all on the floor here. Kimberling City. Yeah, they got the, let's see if I can get a long shot of it. Shell knob over here. But they got Table Rock Lake all, all across the floor here. Cape Fair over here. That's pretty cool. And we're on the bottom story right now. Second story is where you enter in and then you can go up to the third for the great view of the dam and Table Rock Lake, which is awesome. Become a dam operator right here. That would be cool to operate the dam. Hope you guys enjoyed the Dewey Short Visitor Center. Very good idea to stop here. I think that might be the last stop. Are you gonna want to go to the pull-off area? I'm not sure, cause it's pretty cold, so. I don't know. 
she hasn't decided yet but if you would hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel subscribe become a member and check out all our other videos and with that we'll see you on the next one unless we keep going that's pretty windy and cold so I, I think that's gonna be wrap up our little day here we got to see, <laughs> saw I don't know what I was saying there <laughs> we got to see <coughs> Lake Tanny Como saw some boats fold down there and we got some awesome views here from the visitor center of Table Rock Lake Dam and the lake so Got to see everything we wanted to see today, so. And educating yourself on how the dam was built. Yeah, lots of information in there. You could definitely take your time and read all the information on the animals and the dam. Lots of information, so. With that though, we will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.